the only place we're allowed to start this interview is what we heard yesterday that you have more street fights than like Mazudal and Kimbo put together. Um, <laughs> Let's hear about it. Tell us about it. Yeah, I just I used to fight a lot when I was in school and stuff. So I just try to pick fights. Honestly, just when I really pick fights, just if, if I felt like a guy was tough and stuff, I tell my friends that hey, like tell them that I want to fight him. So I just like they go up to him and say, "Hey, this guy wants to fight you." And for what he's like, "Just cause." So I, just, I mean, any money or just pride or? Nah, just cause. You know, I feel like they look tough or something. I just wanted to fight him and stuff. It's so funny because, as you know, your personality seems like the complete opposite of that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did that lead you to a passion for 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 martial arts? Is that what kind of led you down the path to start training? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. How how successful were you out there? I, I was good. Honestly, I didn't. Yeah, I was really good. Honestly. Yeah, I was always fighting like the bigger guys. Even if I got beat up for like 20 minutes, I'll still get up until I won and stuff, so. Very yeah. cool. Well, explain how this fight came together, right? You, you came in and stepped up on short notice. Yes, sir. Um, Man, I was, I'm pretty much excited, you know, I'm just like, to take this fight. I used to, I'm like a big fan of him too, so, you know, to fight him is like pretty much an honor, you know. So. Interesting, so you, you had kind of followed his career. I know he's been out for a little while, but yeah. you followed his career? Yeah, yeah, so. I'm really excited to go in there and stuff. So. Was it difficult? I mean, I just said short notice. I mean, are you are you a guy that's always training, or is this like you kind of rolling the dice a little bit? Uh, I'm always training all the time, so it's not a big deal, honestly. So I'm always I'm always in the gym, even if I don't have a fight and stuff. I'm always in there all the time, so it's uh, to me it's not like a short notice fight. So, nice. do you have, do you have to ask the team? I mean, do they do they make choices with you, or do or do you just say, hey, I'm I'm doing this, let's go. Yeah, uh, my coach and stuff, so my manager, but and I, they say it was a good fight for me, so just, I took it and stuff. So how do you prepare for it? I mean, obviously, you like the guy, you're aware of him, but who knows? He could be totally different, right? Maybe he's 100% better, maybe he's not the same. We don't know. So how do you prepare for a guy like that that has been out for so long? Man, honestly, I just, I just, man, I don't even know. You know, I just, I just go in there and fight, you know, so in the, the day, I just go in there and fight. And then how much forward do you look forward to speaking to us every time? I mean, is it, I, know, I know how much you love Media Day, so did you just yeah. say, hey, please make sure and get me on the Media Day? No, I was not nervous. I'm just, like, I still get nervous all the time. <laughs> what is it? Are you, are you afraid to say something that, like, you'll regret that you said, or? Uh, no, I don't know. I just, I just get embarrassed and stuff. I don't know why. Yeah? Yeah. Are you ordering your own food yet at the, at the restaurants? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I still got to tell my girls, they ordered me this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, does your team try to encourage you to get more comfortable? I mean, obviously your skills are, are coming along. Or they try to tell you, like, bro, you're going to have to start speaking to these people. Yeah, yeah, they tell me and stuff. So they help me out, too, and stuff. Very nice. Well, this could be a great fight, man. On paper, it looks good. Uh, where do you think it puts you? I mean, I know in your eyes this will be 5-0, and oh, right? That loss doesn't count. So, I mean, yeah. in your eyes, 5-0. and oh, where, where would this put you? And hopefully, I just want people to know who I am. You know, just go in there and get this win, and then just people know who I am. You want to call it out? I know it's hard for you. To, you, you like call outs. I know you like to speak uh, up and just call, call call it out. What's happening after this? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> your teammates giving you any early advice on Fight Island prep, like in terms of like sleep schedule, preparing for all that kind of stuff? Um, yeah, well, I was asleep right now, so I just, <laughs> <laughs> I said it come down. Do you think Thomas is the same fighter as he was since the last time he fought? Or, I mean, because he's had. I think it's vision surgery a few times, and that's why he's out. So it's not like a knee or ligament or anything. It's a vision. Yeah. Um. I mean, honestly, I don't even know. Just I still, he's still a dangerous opponent. So just gotta go in there and do my work and stuff. Do you think we're gonna see a street fight on Saturday? Oh, <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> is there one street fight that you can remember standing out from the rest of them, or is it just a blur? Ah, uh, I think one. I think I. I want him. A head kick, I think. In a street fight. Yeah. You're not worried about getting knocked over and taken down, man. No? Yeah, I just, I just threw the, I just threw the, head, I didn't know how to kick. I just threw a kick in the face and I dropped the guy. And after that, like, it really started knowing more in school and stuff. Do you think it makes those guys feel better that they lost to a dude who then eventually got in the UFC? But when they see you on TV, do you think they're like, oh, thank God? Yeah, they, they, yeah, they talk about it and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So you hear from them? They actually reach out to you and be like, oh, do you remember that time you beat the shit out of me? Uh, I, th I think I had like two people reach out to me and stuff. But. That's awesome. Yeah. Did you throw that head kick before or after you started training MMA? Mm, I think I started, I started, had like a month doing Taekwondo and I just wanted to try it out so I just threw it out there. There you go. It was. Yeah.
Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs>